What's up guys, Ars here with a brand new video in Fortnite. This is the week one quest which I've just dropped today. We'll do the usual thing which is we'll run through each and every single quest and we'll have a wee chat about how best to get those completions done throughout the whole thing. So what we'll do is we'll look at the first one and then we'll go straight down through the list. So first one is bust through a door at Cloudy Condos and no sweat insurance. So Cloudy Condos is down to the right hand bottom side of the map. As you can see on my map it's clouded out because I haven't been there yet. Um, so it's easy, uh, all you need to do is run out of door, smash through it and it'll trigger a completion. Um, it should also work if you slide towards the door and go through it as well. Now the tilted towers is where the no sweat insurance is. If you remember from the video from last week, floating platform, balloon on it, centre of the map. It's the building below that so you probably want to go into one of the stairwells because that's where you're more likely to find one of the doors in it. Slide burst straight through and bang, that should complete it. Do that on both locations and jobs are done. Okay, so the second quest we're looking at is damaged players with a lever action shotgun or the suppressed machine gun. These things are found lying about all over the place, plus you can get them from loot chests as well. Remember, you have to do the damage against players. It will not count against wolves or NPCs. So you need to do a total of 350 damage as well for this one, otherwise you won't complete it. You should be able to do a combination of the two to get that total damage um, and then that should trigger the completion for that quest. Okay guys, so the next one is dislodge a runaway boulder with a sliding kick. You should be able to do this exactly the same way we did the first quest here, which is run and slide at these boulders. You might have to hit them a couple of times to make them drop but it should be relatively simple. Where I'm going to be looking to be doing this is probably in and around the Logjam Junction area, Shifty Shafts and Rave Cave. There's boulders on top of hills and wee mountains everywhere on that part of the map. So you should be able to get it done relatively easily. Um, and as I say, you might need to hit it a few times to dislodge it. It may even be a case you hit it a few times to harvest until first. Next up is drive different types of chrome vehicles. Um, three times you've got to do this, guys. So what you want to do is make sure you've got some uh, chrome splash with you first um, and hit a vehicle. You may find some of the vehicles lying about in and around the Herald Sanctum, Shimmer and Shrine and probably Lustrous Lagoon as well, which you may be able to jump in and do. But that's your whiplashes, your cars, your trucks and your pickups. I don't know if this will count for the wolves and boars. You can give it a go though and see if it works. I'll certainly be trying to put a video out later on where I'll try and at least attempt it and I'll confirm it or deny whether or not that will actually work for you or not. But remember, it's three different types of vehicles. It's not three vehicles. Okay, next up is hit opponents while sliding. Really easy, really simple to do, guys. You've, all you've got to do is hit them 10 times. Run, slide, shoot, hit. It's opponents, so it should be working against wolves and also players as well. Okay, so next up, what we have is hunt different kinds of wildlife. Four different types of wildlife I can think of within the game. We've got birds, we've got wolves, we've got boars, and we've got frogs. So it should be relatively easy, it should be relatively simple. It's different kinds, so you can hit two or three or four of the same kind and get it done. You've got to hit at least three out of that four. Um, if there's another kind of wildlife in Ireland I'm completely forgotten from about, then please drop it in the comments, guys. And then next up we have is purchase an item from Panther, Man Cake or the Underwriter. Locations are on the map, you can see them there. Um, and what you need to do is approach one, speak to them and buy one item from them. Should be relatively easy. Easiest one here is probably going to be Panther because the other two are in locations where loads of people like to drop and get a good scrap in. So if you're not minded for fighting and you just want to get the quest done, then that garage in the central part of the map, which is the one on the far right hand side here. Um, that's the one I'll be going to and trying it rather than going to other places. So guys, that's it. That's all the weekly quest covered. I'll start pumping out videos over the next day or two for these. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Help the channel grow. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.